But the well, I, I just did a yeah. criticism. I wrote it for the Telegraph of a Deloitte memo yeah. that was published in May. Yeah, and, and I read it. Deloitte, you read that. The yeah. Deloitte consultants claimed, well, we're we're in an ecological crisis, and of course that's of indeterminate magnitude, but it's an emergency crisis, and it's such an emergency that yeah. no measures are too much. And if we don't take the measures, things are going to be much worse at some unspecified time yeah. in the future, according to our models. And so the solution to that right now is to get everyone to tighten their belts, not us, of yeah. course, because yeah. we have ample girth. Yeah. But all those, without any apprehension or with complete blindness to the fact that if you take a, an economic hierarchy, mm. there's always people at the bottom that are barely holding on. The, the poor that will always be with Yes, exactly. And, yeah. and, and there's, let's say, several billion yeah. of them in the world right yeah. now. And then if you add what to the top echelons is a 5% burden, let's say, you take out huge swaths of the people who are at the bottom. Yeah. But, if it's, but if the notion is, well, we have to do that because the utopia won't arrive if we don't, yeah. and things will be worse, then of course you can justify that continually. Yeah. And if it's also driven by the ethos that, well, you know, if those people were as good in some intrinsic sense as we were, then they wouldn't be in the position where they would be dying as a consequence of our necessary actions. Yeah. And I see all of that lurking behind the fact that in the UK right now, your energy prices have already, what, mm. doubled, tripled? Well, they're, they're insane, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they're nowhere near as insane as they're going yeah. to get. Yeah. And so, well, you know, you should just tighten your belt. You don't need to yeah. drive. You don't need to heat your house. Switzerland, turn your thermostat beyond 19 degrees, yeah. it's three be years in jail. It's going to be a yeah. yeah it's going yeah. to be a very cold winter. Yes, it certainly is cold, dark, and hungry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. so so um, Malthus is essentially saying there's a price to living. You know, so there's the the, the human being can be discarded. It's the the the, the concept of over, overpopulation becomes an academic um, topic and that's taken seriously. So it becomes ingrained. In right, the, and then it's a moral necessity to bring yeah. depopulation about. It, exactly. And so we, we're hearing people in positions of, um, you know, of power talking about the fact that we need to retreat back to a world where we had 500 million yeah, people. I know, I know. Talk, that, that's, I mean, that's 7.5 million billion yeah. people that you're trying to get rid of. That's yeah, well, they're trying to beat the communist record for extermination. Yeah. It's insane. And yet these people have, and I think the, the, the reason why I think the so let me just go through. Uh, and so do you have any yeah. idea who came up with the 500 million figure? Uh, well, um, I forgot her name, but it was during a, a WEF. Uh, oh, there's a uh, shock. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'll, they I'll, just I'll, threw I'll, that number yeah. out. Well, we think it's about yeah. 500 yeah. million. But it might who, be a billion, but I mean, it's only 500 it, million it's, difference. It's, it's always people like them that will survive, of course. I mean, that's yeah. the. It's well, important. that's what people think. Yeah, of course. But, but yeah. as we say, the, 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 the thing that we know is that they're always wrong. And the reason why they're always wrong is because the premise of the argument is not based on observations. It's based on mm -hmm. wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, and so... Self-serving, narcissistic, yeah. wishful thinking yeah, that comes along with the privilege that's always what criticized. Yeah, yeah. it's really quite something. Yeah. So, so um, yeah, so, so, so Malthus is very important. Keynes... So Malthus is important because he says too many human beings. Keynes is important because he's the leading member of the British Eugenics Society. Then Marx is important because he, just like um, Keynes and, and, and Malthus, says that, um, that people belong in boxes. In other words, they're not humans. They are what we say they are, not mm -hmm. what they want, what the human mm -hmm. being himself mm -hmm. thinks he That's is. That's biological essentialism, exactly. right? Or, and send, or religion, and then, the opiate of the masses. Exactly. And then you've got uh, Darwin that comes in. Darwin uh, uh, writes in particular about race, uh, uh, and there are some very interesting quotes with him and, uh, and parliamentarians where he explains geopolitical changes, including uh, with the Ottoman Empire. Uh, through the lens of race, and the one of the the last um, sentence of uh, dissent, his last book, is essentially, I would rather be a, um, a, a a descendant from a monkey than a savage. And so, so the reason why these four people ma matter is because they are deeply rooted in our educational framework, uh, whether it's in Canada, the U.S., France, uh, Germany. These four characters represent biology, economics, politics, and um, what else? Uh, sociology. Mm -hmm. And so, for me, that's really important because that framework is essentially where 
most of our, our leaders have been um, have, have have grown up intellectually, uh, and so what's important about this is that they we have to escape, in my view, or we have to try and at least become really aware of what these ideas were, in order for us to be able to extricate, to, uh, to extricate mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so one of the, this is the reason why I get very uncomfortable, and I have been, it's a bit like, again, that glitch, this sentence, extremes meet in the middle, for me is, is inelegant. And it's inelegant because extremes cannot meet in the middle. It's either science is right or politics is right. And if politics is driven by the leaders we have now, they're certainly not right. So extremes are what they are. In other words, extremely hot, extremely cold, extremely large, extremely small. They can never meet by definition. So why is yeah. the issue of extreme and, and the middle relevant in, in the course of the because conversation? The reason why it's important is because we have to be able to understand the world around us. And we keep being shifted from, we keep talking about extreme right, extreme left, but actually we need to understand that there is no difference between one and the other. And that's the reason why this framework, intellectually, I think, is a, is a nice way of explaining it. The when and it's this proclivity for centralization. Exactly, human beings, small minority of people. Mm -hmm. Human beings are uh, you can jettison them; they are irrelevant. Class matters, race matters, or uh, your 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 capabilities. Uh, all of this, your humanity is completely stripped. Right, so actually what we see when we think about this like a, like a stadium or an arena is that Adolf is to Stalin like the bronze medalist is to the gold medalist. They are standing in the same arena, competing mm -hmm. in the same sport, facing in the same mm -hmm. way. See what you mean. And so what they have is that you, they are all the recipients, whether it's Mussolini, Lenin, Stalin, uh, Pol Pot and all these guys have all the same ideas. Mm -hmm. So it's that field that is so important in my view. And what's the, what, what is the extreme opposite of these views? Yeah. Right. It's that is a question. It's love your neighbor mm -hmm. as yeah, you love yourself. I thought about it as the it, spirit of re playful reciprocity. Yeah. It's, wait, that's, mm, it's that's, the that's, opposite it, of power. Ex exactly. Mm -hmm. It's love your neighbor as you love yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, we, are, we are made in the, the, the image of God. Yeah. Reciprocity. This is what, we all, this is what we've been talking about. And consent about, actually, and voluntary for, association. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, so there is an extreme, but the extreme is not either left or right. The, 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 we have to, so if what I'm saying makes sense, it's a bit long-winded, I know, but it's because, you know, sometimes we have to unpack certain yeah. ideas yeah. and everything else. I think the important thing there is to realize that whether um, the totalitarians themselves all operate under the same presumptions, that's what we're facing. That's what mm -hmm. we're facing. And technology gives them a power they didn't have before. Mm -hmm. But there is hope, as there always is. The, the hope is that we rediscover our humanity. And, the, and there is a body of text that says just that. Yeah. It's just that we need to rediscover it. And we need to be very clear about the roots of, um, uh, of, uh, of these, these ideologies.